No. Not well, what is he looking for? I think he said something about food coloring. Did he say what color? Yeah, I don't remember. Was it uh, green? You know, now that you mention it, I was gonna make some green cookies for St. Patty's Day, but someone must have taken all the green food coloring. You guys don't actually think I did it. Do you? Illinois. Why? What would I even do with a bunch of green food color? If I open Twitter right now, am I gonna see a big green river? Okay, you think I dumped it all in the river. And I'll do it again, too. Oh, did I hear we're dumping shit in a river? No. Revolution! Wait, roll the title. Florida, what are you doing? Who are you again? 6969. Six, <laughs> Tell me about the aliens. <laughs> Wait, what is that? I was just about to sign the approval for Project Willow. Dude, you literally made a campaign promise not start any oil drilling. You know what? You're right. Let me not sign this. Coward! There's something more important right now anyway. Isn't that right, Arkansas? It ain't college football season already, is it? I'm talking about your child labor laws. Oh, right. It ain't that bad. We're just streamlining the hiring process for 14 and 15 year olds. How would you even do that? Hire them to work at theme park, call it a college program. Send recruiters to high schools and establish JROTC programs. Remove the stipulation saying they need to get an employment certificate from the Department of Labor. That's awful! Don't act like there's not a 10 year old kid working the whole stand in every single decent Asian restaurant you got. They're doing homework. But that's not the point. What information goes on one of those employment certificates? Normal stuff, proof of their age, description of their job, and parental approval. Okay, so hypothetically, if I suspected that you were overworking one of your underage employees and I wanted to come in to dispute it with you, probably wouldn't be able to find proof they're underage. That's disgusting. Yeah, I mean- Wait, was that what I think it was? Well, not if you don't think, but- Yes, I just approved Project Will. Speaking of approval, we just voted no on recreational marijuana. Yeah, I don't think you know what approval means, but I am proud of you for keeping drug dealers in business. Don't you have, like, a ton of dispensaries? Oh, yeah, the most in the country by an Alaska mile. Since when is that the phrase? Since I don't like it. And also, I had already said country in that sentence, so it would have sounded weird. That's fair. That's it. I'm seceding. You can't secede, Texas. Don't let him lie to you, Texas. You can do anything you put your 10-gallon mind to. Why did you vote no, Oklahoma? Well, first of all, the federal government needs to make that decision. What if I also made a decision on abortion or guns? I mean, you should. I'll complain about government overreach. Either way, weed is bad for young folks, and we need to understand the side effects. Like what? Being cool. Stop asking follow-up questions. You know I ain't got damn answers. But we did vote yes on studying mushrooms. Oh, I am way ahead of you. Not legally, of course, but still. Make it make sense. Everybody stop what you're doing. Mitch McConnell don't fail. He's in the hospital. <laughs> what? Does he need help flipping back over? Because he kind of looks like a turtle? And to thank you were supposed to be the nice one. Okay. Not if you don't think. Not if you don't think. But yes, I just approved Project Will. Don't let him lie. Don't let. Don't let. Him, don't let him lie. To you. I was gonna make some green cookies for Mardi Gras. Not Mardi Gras. I was gonna make some green cookies for St. Patty's Day, but someone must have taken all the green food coloring. Okay, that's. <laughs>